Hi everyone. Today I'm going to be walking you through your rehearsal week number three, day number four assignment. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can follow along with me as I am going through the lesson. When you open up your assignment, you're going to see that it is, um, let me go back to the first page, sorry. That we are working on take 2C and 5D this week. Um, we are creating characters, dialogue, and actions that reflect dramatic structure in scripted scenes collaboratively. That's us working on the different scenes of our play. And then 5D, which is exploring career and vocational opportunities in theater. That's what we're doing with, with learning about our technical jobs. This week, we've been learning about set design. And so, um, as you fill out the form, you're going to see, you're going to answer those first three questions that are on every single assignment. Once you move on to the warm-up page, today we're going to be doing a stretch and a reflection question. So we have our five-minute timer, so you can keep track of how long you're stretching. And then we have our flexibility uh, stretch poster that you can reference if you need some ideas of stretches to do. I'm going to mark the ones that we usually do in our live sessions during class. Um, you're welcome to do any of the other stretches that are on the question or any ones that you just like to do. Um, then when you do your short vocal warm up, you're going to choose three facial stretches to do. These are the ones we usually do in class. And then you can say some tongue twisters. So you can choose any on either poster or another one that you know, maybe the frog one or any of those other ones we've done in class before. So toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Around the rough and rugged rock, the ragged rascal ran. Uh, whether the weather be cold, whether the weather be hot, we'll be together whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. It only takes a couple of seconds, so go ahead and do it. Um, once you're done with that, you'll move on to your reflection question, which is to think about your vocal warm up and projection skills. So that's using your voice on stage. How would you rate your voice? Um, would you say a one being, I need to really work on my projection skills. I know that people have a hard time hearing me or Ms. Raina is always telling me to be louder, things like that. Or you have great projection skills, that's a level five. Um, people can usually hear you when you're on stage or performing in front of the class. Um, how would you rate yourself there? I'm a five, y'all know that because I'm really loud. Um, so on this next page, of course, we have the documents, the production documents there. Those, again, those are just there in case you need them. It's a good idea to have them open just in case you think you might need them. And then your daily activities today, we have another video on set design. Um, the set designer in this video is going to be, it's the same woman in the videos we've been watching all week. She's going to be talking about what inspires her designs. And so you have a couple of reflection questions or knowledge check type questions after the video to answer. Some of them are short answer and then some of them are fill in the blank, multiple choice. Um, and so then you're going to answer those questions about the video. Once you're done, um, technical, everyone's gonna do that first assignment, actors and tech, it doesn't matter. Everyone should watch the video and answer the questions. For activity two, actors, you're gonna continue working on your memorization. Make sure you're actually doing it. Tomorrow you will be posting a recording showing me how much you have memorized. So I really hope you've been working on it. Um, you'll say what strategy you're gonna use just like we've been doing. And then for the technical crew, you guys are going to continue on with your set design. This is your third uh, set design assignment for the week. You're going to be designing a set, a set idea for scene number three. So you will need that script so that you can read over scene three and see what it's about. And so you can make, you can use, I would recommend that you go back to your drive and you use that copy that copy of your set design templates. Remember there's already three templates there for you to use. One for scene one, one for scene two, right? And then one for scene three. And so you will turn all of these in tomorrow. So uh, you can make separate copies for each one, but the easiest thing to do would just to be to go back into your Google Drive, look for one of the first, for the first copy you made uh, when we first started this assignment and to put it on that one. Um, once you're done working on your design, You'll tell me which assignment you completed today or that you worked on today. 
And then answer your exit ticket question, which is, what do you think is the most challenging part of being a set designer? Um, once you have answered that question and clicked submit, you are done for today. Um, I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, remember, you can always reach out to me on Google Classroom, um, comments, remind 101 text message, or emailing me, or popping in on our lives during the day. That's it for today, everyone. Um, remember, today is a great day. You are in control of you, and every day is a great day to try your best. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.